welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with this beautiful lady here, Alice Olivia. Hello. She, she is a singer-songwriter. I will link her um, channel down below. She is amazing. Oh, thanks. You are. <laughs> um, make sure you go along and subscribe to her if you're not already. Um, today's video is a bit different. I wanted to do more um, hairstyles, but I've decided to do it on Alice hair, A, because she has absolutely amazing thick long hair, which is great to do hairstyles on, but also because this is the sort of video that I wanted to do, so it's more hairstyles you can do with your girlfriends while you're getting ready for a night out or as we're near New Year's Eve, um, videos for your New Year's Eve party, videos, hairstyles for your New Year's Eve parties that you can do on each other because that makes it a bit more fun. So I've got three hairstyles for you. I'm going to do close-ups on them as well so you can obviously see them a bit more in detail. But I'm going to do them on her hair here. So hopefully you will like them. Okay, the first hairstyle is more of a take on the hairstyle you had when you were a little girl. So when you had it in a ponytail, and then you split it in the middle and you flipped it over. I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see a bit more in the mirror what I'm doing. Um, if not, I'm gonna do some close-ups anyway. Um, but this is for someone who can't do a French braid. Like myself, I can't do French braids at can't all either. on anyone or on myself. So uh, it's better, this one's a lot easier and a lot better for that. So you wanna take your first bit of hair, almost going into like a half up, half down kind of look up to you how, where you want to start it. You can start it right in front if you want, or you can start it like midway down. I'm kind of in the middle of um, both. And then you want to take, I'm using a clear elastic just because they don't show up as much in the hair, which is a lot better. And then you literally want to do, I call it a flip hair ponytail, but it's probably not what it's called. Um, and you split it in the middle, and literally flip it around. And then you want to continue doing that all the way down the hair. So you're joining your next bit to the ponytail that you've already done. And then you do exactly the same thing. Do you think you'd be able to do this on yourself? This I reckon you'd be able to yeah. do on yourself, yeah. I mean it would look really nice going down the side as well, you wouldn't have to have it going straight down the back. Oh yeah, that'd be good. And this is the sort of one I think looks nicer, like the messier it is the better it looks. Yeah. Obviously, depending on how thick your hair and how long your hair, it depends on how many of the little flips you'll be able to do. Um, but it's usually about three or four that you can fit into the hair nicely. Okay, and then there's one more here. So you can just leave it like that. You've got the ponytail going around at the back. Hopefully, you can see that a bit better in the mirror. Um, so it, it, from far away, it looks like you've got a really loose French plait. Mm. But actually, you just got little flips. Mm. And then I'm just going to braid it. She's got all the different colours as well. They all show up. Oh wow, yeah, that's so yeah. good. That is amazing. I really want to see the back, but I have to watch the video back. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. And it feels really nice on the head, yeah. doesn't it? Like it feels really secure in every little bit. So you don't have to worry about it at all throughout the night. It's literally done. And to be honest, this one, if you do have hair that likes to fall out, the messier it looks, the better. Mm. But it's, it's so easy to do. Um, so that is number one. Perfect. Okay, hairstyle number two is it is a braid and it's a five piece braid. Um, when I first saw this, it absolutely terrified me, but it looks beautiful and it's so easy to do, it's unreal. So you want to keep your hair on the side or you can do it at the back, it's completely up to you. I split it in two first and then I split the front one into two, so you've got the two sections there. Back, and then the back one I split into three sections. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take two pieces of hair in one hand, two pieces of hair in the other, and you can just leave the middle bit like flopped in the middle. And then you want to go to the top of the first one and then under the middle one. Like that. So it's like a crisscross effect almost. And then you can drop the middle one and you do exactly the same on the other side so over and then under your middle one and put it tight like that. I love this one. The nice thing about this as well is with um, a French plait you kind of have to keep hold of all the hair at once. You can drop this these bits of hairs like all the time because it's so like compact in the braid. It just stays where you put it. 
That sounds easier. Yeah. So then exactly the same thing, twist over the first one and then you go under your middle one. to the end of the hair if you want to. I'm going to stop for like about three quarters of the way down because I want to make it nice and loose and big. And just give it a little shake out. Oh wow, that's so good. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh, so it's this way, so that's the... Yeah, so it can sit oh, even. Yeah. That's so good because it shows the ball that if you've got that highlight like, yes, stuff, it shows, it shows it all the colour. I don't know if you can see. I love it. It is like a flat one, like you said. Yeah, it, makes, it does make your hair look so much thicker though because yeah. it's wide. It looks like you've got loads of It's so good. And again, you probably do that too as well if you wanted them both on sides. Yeah, right? definitely. Nice. Definitely. Hello yeah. number three is, I call it the not braid because it's literally... Not a not, braid? Not a braid. <laughs> is it not a braid? It's made up of knots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to do this going down the side and then round to the front again into um, a fishtail braid this time rather than a Dutch braid. <laughs> So I like to scrape all the hair back for this one. Um, again, you can just do it going straight down your head or you can do it to the side. I'm a massive fan of the side. I like to be able to see the hair like flow around. So I like to do it that way. Okay, so you pull your hair back like that. Maybe these all pretty much start the same way. Yeah. And the hair half up. Then you split it in half and tie it on. So you go under from your left hand side and then over the right one and then pull it. Like not like you can do shoelace, the first bit of your shoelace. Yeah, so literally, yeah. Okay. That's a better way to explain it. But you're about to do your shoelace. And then you want to bring both of the bits together on your right side. And then it's not hard to explain. And then start again. So from the left hand side, take another bit of hair to create the other side of the knot. It will sound, make more sense and you can see what I'm doing. And then do that again. Does that make any sense to you at all? No, it will. But it will. Does make my hair feel short this one though? Does it? Yeah, but fat. It's because a lot of it is it's, in the knot. Yeah, it's up. Top. Yeah. So if you have really short hair, how would it work? Would it end up here? Yeah, I'm not sure if it would work on yeah. shorter hair. It's more definitely one for longer hair. That's so good. But again, you could yeah. you could do that on thin hair as well. I don't see the problem with that at all. Yeah. I love that one though. There you go. There are my three. I would say quite easy hairstyles yeah. to do with your girlfriends or a night out, whatever. If you're really talented, you can do them yourself, but I am not, hence my beautiful model. <laughs> <laughs> if you are going out for New Year's Eve, have a wonderful time, stay safe, and have a wonderful new year, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! See ya! <laughs>